We will now introduce the GUI of the FA1616. This is the web GUI screen. The left side is the block for setting the input section, the right side is the block for setting the output, and the center is the block for processing. The FA1616 contains two processors, with the blue block for processor block A, and the green block for processor block B. Each processor block has four processor units. Each processor unit can process up to four channels for HD or 3G and one channel for 4K. Since each of the two blocks has four processor units, it can handle up to 32 channels for HD or eight channels for 4K. Since both SDI and IP are supported for input and output, the settings can be made by switching the tabs for input and output, respectively. In the processor section, you can switch the tabs for video and audio to establish settings. Let us start with the input section and introduce it in detail. In the case of SDI input, the shape and number of SDI connectors vary depending on the model. With the FA1616HB12G which we are using today, it has 16 in 16 out HD BNC connectors. Since the number of HD and 4K signals that can be processed by each processor is limited, open the SDI input select and select which signal to process from the connectors lined up on the left side. In addition, from the input select menu, you can assign which processor unit will process the signal from the terminal selected in the SDI input select to each processor unit. As with the IP input, select which IP signal is to be processed from the IP input select, and set which processor unit is to be assigned in the latter input select. Next, we will explain the processing on the video side. First is the frame synchronizer. The menu structure is the same as that of the FA9600. Four HD 3G signals, each unit can process four signals at a time, but the format is fixed. Therefore, the four signals to be put into one processor unit should have the same format. The four output phases from each of these units are fixed, so the output phase is determined by each processor unit. The reference to be locked is also set for each processor unit. When using an ST2110, select PTP lock. Color correction also allows separate color correction settings for each of the four inputs in each processor unit. For the base configuration, only basic color correction is available, and features such as HDR conversion and 3D LUT are available when another configuration is applied. This is clean switch. Switches can be made at any time inside the processor units since each processor unit has the same format and phase inside. Switching across processor units is also possible, provided that the synchronizer settings are all identical for each processor unit. If all processor units 1, 2, 3, and 4 in block A have the same synchronizer settings, they can be selected with this clean switch setting. For example, if processor units 1 and 2 are to be used in GenLock and the remaining processor units 3 and 4 are to be used in PTP lock, then processor units 1 and 2 have the same settings, so they can be switched between 1 and 2, 3 and 4 have the same settings, so they can be switched between 3 and 4. If the synchronizers have different settings, they cannot be switched. Next is the output section. For SDI output, the number of outputs from each processor unit is limited. Each processor unit selects two signals each. 
This is like sending the output of two signals from the four signals that were being processed. This function sets the final assignment to which connector for each of the two signals output from each processor unit. Since assignment is freely possible, signals can be output from any connector regardless of which processor unit they came from. For IP output, all four outputs from each processor unit can be output as IP signals. The FA1616 can be equipped with up to two expansion options for IP. Each can be activated in one of three types, sender and receiver mode, sender only mode, or receiver only mode. This is how the two options are installed. You can choose from ST2110 sender and receiver mode, sender only mode, and receiver only mode, respectively. The maximum number of inputs outputs per IP option board depends on the mode. In sender only and receiver only modes, up to 16 signals can be transmitted or received for HD3G and up to 2 signals can be transmitted or received for 4K. In sender and receiver mode, the mode is capable of processing 8 in 8 out for HD3G. For 4K, 2 in 2 out. When the format changes, the settings must be made in single stream mode. and the source address, destination address, and other settings for each IP signal are changed from the respective setting screens in VOIP. This is the audio side of the processing. It is possible to freely map audio that is embedded in SDI. As with video, there are four processor units in one block, and audio from SDI or IP can be processed and mapped within this block. The respective functions of each block are identical to those of the FA9600. Finally, we come to the configuration screen. While the previous screenshot shows the home screen of the standard configuration, this screen shows when the converter configuration and the 3D LUT configuration are applied. A converter processing is added to the processing area and a 3D LUT processing to the color correction area.